What is up guys, it is RSC6414 here with another review. I just did one about 15 minutes ago, Impact Wrestling, maybe 20. Uh, and I'm back doing a review for WWE Superstars. Uh, it happened yesterday, I watched on Hulu today, I didn't have time to watch it yet. Yesterday, sorry my dad's talking in the background. Uh, so that's why I paused for a second. Uh, but overall, I gotta say that this, if you do watch WWE Superstars, it's generally some mid card to lower card superstars for wrestling. Uh, WWE Superstars is actually my favorite show. To many people, uh, don't really like it, but I really like it because I am a big fan of a lot of the mid card, lower card superstars that don't get much time. So, therefore, I can watch them on Hulu Plus, like WWE Superstars. Uh, my favorite superstar is JTG, so he's on there sometimes, but enough of me uh, talking about who I like and why I like WWE Superstars. Uh, it is my favorite show, but here is, it is my favorite WWE show, let's put it that way, sorry. And uh, here is my review. I uh, started off with Ted DiBiase versus Michael McGillicuddy. This match was five or six minutes long, maybe seven. It was a decent match. Not great. DiBiase dominated most of the match. McGillicuddy got a couple elbows, submission holds, elbows to the back of the neck. Um, overall, DiBiase dominated. I haven't seen DiBiase in a while, so... I mean, DiBiase's okay when he was in Legacy. He was in four or five years ago with Orton and Rhodes. He looked pretty promising, but uh, he, did, he uh, hasn't progressed as much as I was hoping, but... Uh, Yep, yeah, he's been injured most of 2012, and he came back 2013 for the maybe some couple of the top rope matches on the pre-show, I think, of one of the YouTube pre-show pay-per-views. Uh, but it was cool to see him again. I think he's been a couple times return, been in a couple matches since his return, but this time he uh, looked pretty impressive. He delivered a suicide dive. Um, there was a, a couple near falls in the middle of that after the suicide dive a couple minutes later. Then he uh, delivers the, um, I forget what the move is called, the silencer, that's what it's called. Uh, he's uh, about to deliver the silencer, McGillicuddy counters. Um, his opponent, by the way, is Michael McGillicuddy, if I didn't mention that. Um, I like McGillicuddy a lot better than I like DiBiase. He has potential, I think. Uh, I really do like McGillicuddy, but obviously he didn't give me, um, get much action or much offense. He was mostly jobbing to dead DiBiase, which is sort of a shame. But um, DiBiase, as I said, tried to deliver the silencer. McGillicuddy counters. He runs at DiBiase. Uh, DiBiase moves. McGillicuddy hits the turnbuckle. And DiBiase delivers the silencer for the one, two, three, and DiBiase wins the match. Then I didn't see, like, I think it was just a bunch of recaps. Um, maybe the Lesnar uh, Triple H. I seen that, so I fast forwarded it to those. And then uh, it brings us to our main event on WWE Superstars Justin Gabriel, the Daredevil, uh, versus Cody Rhodes. This match was pretty good. It was. Not pretty good. I thought it was really good, actually. Uh, better than a lot of the matches on Raw. Uh, any match with Justin Gabriel, he's generally in main WWE main event show or superstars. I really do like Gabriel. He's acrobatic, makes the match exciting. Uh, there was a lot of kicks by Gabriel, a lot of misses, but he connected some, too. Uh, this was a decent match. The beginning started off sort of slow, but the action picked up as the match progressed. It was definitely a um, better match, the best match of the night, uh, but uh, one of the better matches of the week, in my opinion. Um, but Gabriel hit a couple kicks to the temple, got a near fall. Uh, another time, he tried to deliver a, a like a, almost like a backflip, sort of like airborne, but it wasn't. Uh, he uh, missed that, and then Rhodes hit him, and he delivered a backflip, landed on... Uh, Landed on Gabriel for the 1-2 and a near fall. Actually, it wasn't a 1-2-3. Uh, so then that was a near fall. And then um, 
later on, Gabriel tried to deliver a powerful kick to uh, Cody Rhodes. Rhodes ducked, and uh, he tried to deliver a crossroads. Gabriel countered it, tried to deliver another kick, whiffed again. Rhodes had him by the hair and then delivered the crossroads for the one, two, three. I was hoping Gabriel would win. I really like him. You know, both the guys I wanted to win and I liked didn't win. It's cool. I still got to see him wrestle, which is fine by me. Overall, the show was pretty good. I thought it was better than last week's. I do like R Truth, but uh, the Divas match is okay, I guess. Caitlin really needs to work on her spears, but that was last week. I'm talking about this week. Uh, but overall, I'd say this show is pretty good. Uh, definitely recommend checking it out on Hulu Plus. Uh, WWE has the reduced match, like some highlights, but I will always watch the full match on Hulu Plus. And uh, check it out there. Uh, subscribe to my videos. Wa uh, subscribe to my channel, I mean. Watch some of my other videos. Check out Superstars on Hulu if you have it. Definitely recommend it. A great, pretty good show this week. Gabriel Rose is a great match, as I said numerous times. Uh, and you could probably check it out on Daily Motion, maybe YouTube, some of the match. Uh, yeah, uh, subscribe. Thanks, guys.